Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Firefly Tarot. Um, so I wanted to say before I start, I'm actually filming this probably a few days before I'm posting it. I don't know if that's going to affect the reading in a way because I've never done this before, but I'll ask that uh, Spirit deliver these messages to you only when they are meant. So for today's pick a card, it's going to be messages from your person, but it's any person of interest at all. So before you make a selection or, or watch the video, I do recommend that you that you think of the person that you're wishing to get messages from. Um, <clears throat> if you don't have them in mind or if you have you know more than one person in mind, it might make this confusing. So it, I think that it's best if you have that person in mind, who any person of interest at all. I'll try to make it fit for you know the collective. Okay, so that's um, our pick a card. And then I'll show you the four groups. Um, thank you for those who uh, showed interest in my uh, how to read tarot course. I left the pre-registration in the previous video and I'll do that again below just in case you missed it. Okay, so I'm gonna, uh, I don't, I've never done uh, online classes before, but I just wanted to see, you know, what would happen, like if anybody's interested to do that. Um, okay, so here are our four groups, messages from your person. Here we have group number one, which is the clear quartz. Group number two is the black tourmaline. It's a big one. Group number three is the orange calcite. And group number four is pyrite. Okay, so again, we have group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four. Um, just, you know, always watch any video when you're feeling called. You never want to force it, okay? Uh, take as much time as you need, and whenever you are ready, I will see you at your reading. Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number one, the clear quartz. So, um, as I mentioned before, Please try to just uh, focus on the person of interest, whoever they might be, uh, before we get the messages. Spirit, this reading is for group number one. Please clear court. Spirit, please allow these messages to find them only when they are meant to. Messages from their person of interest. Thank you. All right. Spirit, for group number one, please clear courts and their person of interest, uh, whoever it is that they have in mind. Can you just give us first a brief look into the energy of the situation itself? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that kind of helps me to put it into context. Spirit, can you just give us a brief energy check-in here of what's going on between them? Or what's going on in general? Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so we have the Two of Cups. So it does look like there is this uh, close connection here it could be a you know an actual soul connection whatever that means to you guys i don't think that this is just a casual connection such as a work connection or you know a professional connection i feel like this is a real soul connection all right and the other cards we have the six of pentacles and the queen of pentacles okay so i feel like the situation might be that someone in this equation is perhaps asking for something asking for more or reaching forward in some way and it might be kind of like a back and forth of whatever's going on here whoever is the queen of pentacles is probably the one that's reaching out to say um you know like let's either talk about something or there just needs to be some kind of better balance in the situation so let's now only focus on their messages to you their energy this could be stuff that they have said to you or want to say or will say but let's find out <clears throat> just like on their mind and stuff spirit for group number one please um and their person spirit for group number one what is the first message that their person of interest has to tell group one group one's person of interest what do you want to say to them thank you what do you want to say to them first okay they want to say um that either they are extremely worried and anxious about something or they're actually pointing out that it could be 
either of you. So I'm not sure if it's clear that they have been in a lot of stress and worry. Uh, on your end, you'll know that if this is your energy or not, but um, so kind of take it as it resonates there. But someone here in the situation is very stressed and worried about something um, uh, in general or between the both of you. <clears throat> and then here with the Ace of Swords, this is the Sword of Clarity. The Sword of Clarity wanting to come in. This person wants to clear the air with you. They want to talk to you. They want to give you answers. They want to just have a, a clear conversation, open and honest, transparent conversation, which will benefit the both of you and will alleviate this severe, severe worry and anxiety that's happening here, okay? Um, as I saw before, I, I do feel like there's a lot of care in the situation. I do feel that... Um, this person does care for your mental health as much as their own. Uh, I don't know if that's relevant to, you know, whatever's going on exactly. But um, someone here really wants to clear the air. Okay, so what is their actual communication spirit? This person of interest, person of interest of group one, what, what would you actually like to tell them? What would you like to say to them? What's your next message for them? Okay, so there could be an element of worrying about the future in this case. They want to work together with you or make it work in some way, whatever it is. Um, <clears throat> whether it's the work that you're doing together, the communication, the relationship, the friendship, whatever it is, they want to make something work with you. They just probably don't know how. Um, this person has a very earnest energy to them they might have been a bit wishy-washy in the past maybe um if it's relevant that they walked away from you or or you walked away from them someone here might have been quite indecisive um but as it stands now this person i feel is a lot more serious about things okay eight of pentacles shows the eagerness to work on things to put in that um again honest effort and to have patience and to not give up on things. And therefore, the future is looking much brighter, more optimistic than maybe it was in the past, okay? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> because I saw the Two of Cups twice, I do want to see the actual feelings here. Um, person of interest of group number one, would you like to tell us anything of what's, of what's in your heart, uh, specifically towards group one like how are you feeling about them and the situation group one's person of interest please thank you actually they feel this is not the answer that i thought would come out here but they feel that there is a huge distance between the both of you i don't know if that's emotional and geographical because it could be obviously if you're on another side of the planet uh from each other but in an emotional sense they feel that there is distance there is a lot of hiding there's a lot of withdrawing you know hiding of one's true thoughts and feelings and stepping away from each other just kind of creating that distance through feelings and actions and therefore there's also sadness and probably regret as well okay what else what else group one's person of interest what what else would you like to tell them please <clears throat> group one's person of interest what else what is your next message for them please thank you okay so we have here the five of swords and we have the queen of pentacles kind of feels like they just want to say can we stop fighting for a second something like that um if you haven't been actually verbally fighting with this person it even could be an energetic kind of fighting where things were unstable things were either chaotic or troubled or, you know, something like that. There was really not a sense of peace and feeling settled. Um, you know, just feeling okay. So this person wants to end that. They want to say, let's be Queen of Pentacles. Let's be stable and secure and just look out for one another kind of a thing. So I don't know what happened with you and this person, but I do feel like they genuinely care for you or they're trying to show that they do you know trying to maybe show something different this time so again I, that really depends on what happened here <clears throat> spirit what else please for group number one what does their person of interest want to tell them want to say to them 
they did confirm that they care for you even if they haven't always shown it and i do feel called to say that could be uh vice versa so i'm not sure who's you know it, it could be a mutual feeling so there is mutual care even if someone didn't show it in the past <clears throat> Okay, so we have the Empress, the Page of Wands, and the Five of Cups again. So I do feel like there is an element of some kind of regret in the situation. Um, I think that in the beginning of things, there showed a lot of potential for prosperity, growth, abundance, friendship, uh, even like passion, you know, some sort of fiery energy. But again, I'm not sure what happened here. Um, Spirit, is there anything that Group 1 needs to know about this connection and why this happened i mean typically it's it could be just alignment it could be karmic cycles it could be you know let me see what else what i'm getting from this connection is that the passion or that fiery energy uh coming from the heart space in whatever sense i feel that it never actually left i feel that um, both of you have always been connected and that connection never died. Uh, as you can see here from the Ace and Knight of Wands, it just continued. It just, it, yeah, I mean, like it, it's, it's going and going and going. Um, and there was no severing of that even from the beginning. Okay, what else? Uh, group one's person of interest. What else do you want to tell them? What do you want to tell them, please? I think they want to use a different deck, but I'm going to have to be careful because, you know, YouTube uh, has the restrictions of the nude cards, so I didn't cover these yet, which I don't want to, actually. Okay, so person of interest of group number one, can you give us any more messages? What else would you like to say to group one? Now that we're here, what do you want to tell them, please? They were holding back for a very long time. And you might have been also. Okay, because we have the um, Four of Pentacles here. Okay, yeah, they were holding back for a long time. Um, and because of that, this is a sun card, I have to cover the, okay. Uh, they also were holding back a lot of their happiness as well. It does seem to me that this connection has inherent within it happiness, joy, connection, life. Now, I, that does not mean that whatever you guys went through was for nothing. This was a learning process. So whether you were putting up your boundaries or they were putting up their boundaries or you were learning, well, both of you were learning from whatever happened here, um, <clears throat> the conclusion that this person is making is that the happiness was withheld and they want to put a stop to that, okay? So they want to be in joy again with you, okay? Anything else? Any other final messages? What do you want to tell them? Okay, so to be informal here, they said life sucks without you. That's exactly what they said. I don't know if that's their typical language, but that's like the language of like 80% of the people involved here. If that's not how they talk, they said something like I'm struggling without you. Okay, so that's more of how they put it. Oh boy. Okay, so we have the six of cups again. They, there is, again, like I said, um, there is care, there is love, there is um, just like a feeling of being childhood friends as well. Okay. Spirit, anything else? Can you help us out? Is there anything that they're struggling to say, uh, even in this reading, that we need to reveal? Is there anything else, Spirit? These are kind of big. Hold on. <clears throat> Anything that they really need help saying, spirit, group one's person of interest. They're talking here about the distance that they've created from you or that you've created from them and they hate it. And they're thinking about you from a planet away. That's what they're saying. Okay. So they've probably thought about you every day, I would say, since uh, whatever happened here. And this doesn't mean that you're not... This does not necessarily mean that you're not in contact with this person. I mean, you might have spoken to them recently. 
uh, or yes, it might have been a while. But whatever the case is, uh, this distance, like I said, could be emotional. It could be something that this person, like if they haven't communicated, it might also just be because they were not aligned enough to be able to communicate. Communication, if the person is not used to it, has not practiced it, if that's not their natural way of being, it's going to be difficult. And I I learned that actually about certain people. Like um, some of us who, uh, like for me, it took me a lot of practice to be able to communicate, but um, others who have not had that communication to people like us, it might be like, oh, they're not talking to me because they, you know, they're doing this on purpose or give, they're giving me coldness, you know, whatever. But but I think that a lot of people just are not there yet. They're not ready um, or, you know, it's something within their soul. It's something within their, their mind. Um, they're just not quite there yet, okay? Um, but they do not like this distance. They want to close the gap. They want to come closer uh, towards you. Okay, what else? Anything else, Spirit, that we need to know? Any other messages from this person? What do they want to tell them? What do they want to tell group one? I feel like that's pretty much it. They want to talk to you. I mean, it's really that simple. They want to communicate. On this deck, it's interesting because I did have to change the deck. Look at how miserable the King of Swords looks on this deck. You can't really see it that great, but trust me, he doesn't look happy, okay? So whatever the gender is, this person looks like meh, like just very upset, sad, disappointed, and they have the sword in their hand saying like, I am ready to talk. Now my question is, and this I cannot answer because everyone will have a different um, answer to this, uh, is who has to reach out first? Now that's tricky. Now what I believe is the answer is actually what's on the bottom of the um, deck here is the judgment card, okay? And the judgment card is saying that the angel in the sky is tooting the uh, <laughs> tooting uh, the trumpet, you know, sounding the trumpet, and the um, the people are rising up to listen to the call. So you know what? <sighs> there might not be an easy answer to this. Um, and some of you might not even really want to hear from this person, but you have to admit you wanted to hear something because here we are, right? Um, this is up to you guys. Uh, follow your guides' messages, your spirit team. Follow your spirit team's guidance with regard to uh, reaching out to this person or, you know, whatever it is. Just follow your own intuition. I guarantee you that whatever's meant to happen is going to happen anyway. Even if you plan one thing or another, that's happened to me where I, I was, I made a decision and then all of a sudden my guides just kind of like <laughs> came, they like inserted themselves and they're like, they kind of just crammed, uh, you know, their energy in there and they're like, nah, you're going to do this instead. Okay. So this cannot really be planned. Um, I don't know if I want to get a final uh, pull for you. I might do that. Spirit, do they have any final deck that they wish to use? Let me see. Maybe this one? Yeah, let's try this one. This is called the Queen of the Moon Oracle. Let's just get a final pull here that has words on them. Spirit, can we have a final message, please? Um, or person of interest, what is your final word for group one? I thought I heard something in the room. That kind of freaked me out. I don't know what that was. Okay. <clears throat> kind of sounded like something was like a rattle of pebbles. It was kind of creepy. Um, person of interest of group one. What is your final message for them? Whoop, nope, didn't want to come out. Okay. I think they said, you have my number. I think that's what they said. And I saw the number seven. I don't know. Could be significant to July if you're watching this in July. Okay, there it is. So we have resilience. You guys have been through everything. I think probably together and apart. Um, and I think their final message is that the burden needs to come to an end. All right. So group uh, group one, regardless of <clears throat> regardless of uh, what happened here, and regardless of even what you wish to do for the future, because it's your life, it's your choice you know, just use your best judgment. Just know that if you are feeling a burden with this person or in general, um, the best thing to do for you and all parties involved is to release that burden. 
to come to some peace within your heart. And in order to come to peace within your heart, that does mean a lot of the times that you you may have to either, you know, forgive the situation or even forgive the other person. That doesn't mean that you're letting them back into your life if they hurt you. That doesn't mean that you're excusing any bad behavior. It just means that you're getting rid of the boulder, okay? It means that you're freeing yourself from a heavy, heavy weight that you don't need to carry anymore. All right, and, and I understand that's difficult. Ask your guides to help you, to give you strength, to help you to release. Do whatever you must do to lift that burden, okay? So group one, this was a very interesting reading. I do hope that it was helpful and uh, best wishes with everything. Good luck with everything. Um, if you want a personal reading with me, info is below as well as the pre-registration link for um, what I'm planning to do, online tarot classes. Uh, who knows? Okay, so thank you once again and I'll see you next time. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number two, which is the black tourmaline. All right, so again, you may want to think of your person first before we do this, because otherwise it'll be a little confusing. Spirit, this reading is for group number two, please. Messages from their person of interest. Please allow these messages to find them only when they are meant to. Thank you. So I'm going to just get a peek into the energy background. Spirit, can you just give us any information, um, any energy surrounding the situation itself so that I can understand? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Group two, group two black tourmaline. What's going on here in the situation? Okay, this this is interesting. Um, the the uh, cards all coming out together very much looks like um, an issue regarding balance. Okay, so we have Justice, the Six of Wands, and the Temperance card. So this is going to really differ based on obviously your situation and where the person is in your life type of a thing. I don't know if maybe some of you it's um, it could be something with either work or legal matters or just anything having to do with balance in your life. Um, with temperance, it's a bit more emotional now. So if not um, an external thing, this could be where <clears throat> this person and you, there's like some sort of thing that's needing to come into balance. Um, and with the six of wands, um, just talking about an overall wanting of success or victory, or maybe that's coming, we'll, we'll see. So let's just take a look into what this person wants to tell you, what their messages are. Okay, Spirit, can you give us the first message for group one's person of interest? What do they want to tell them? What would they like to tell them, uh, Spirit, please? Did I say group one? I don't know, my mind. Uh, group two, group two, their person of interest. What is their first message for group two, please? <clears throat> Interesting, okay. Um, someone here might be lacking in taking action with something. And Ace of Swords is here. Um, you got the Five of Cups and the Magician. Someone here could be regretting not taking action, initiative, or speaking up in some way, or even not, not taking leadership or something like that. Um, I feel like for you guys, this is a little bit less... Uh, emotional and personal because like for example group one it was um, a really personal connection you guys it might not be necessarily some of you like half of you it could be um, a non-personal connection such as a professional connection I'm not sure but there is a lot of communication and clarity right here with ace of swords spirit um, or rather group two's person of interest what would you like to tell group two what is your actual communication with them what do you want to tell them they said that you have options and that you have to make things happen, okay? I'm not sure if this is um, even, this even could be something like vice versa, where maybe you said something to them like this. So group two, whichever one resonates, be careful here. Um, or oh, I'll be careful. So the seven of cups is here to say that someone in the equation has a lot of options, energy, <clears throat> and opportunity for the future, but someone has to has to get started there's a lot of passion and brilliance brilliant ideas behind the energy of what's going on for you or for even for the both of you but there has to be a step 
in the right direction. So this person really is just um, trying to encourage one of you or both of you to take these steps. The Magician card is looking very lonely over here. To say, um, no, the Magician is, in my opinion, the most powerful card in the deck. And he's attached to the Five of Cups. He's being dragged down by some heavy, heavy energy. Um, so whether it's uh, a lack of encouragement or motivation or just any kind of sadness energy, low vibration, uh, the magician is not happy like this. The magician is happy when he's in a leadership position. <clears throat> okay, person of interest, what else would you like to tell group two? This person said that there have been too many struggles, that there have been a lot of struggles, and they also made clear that you've been waiting for a very long time. Um, they might even be asking you to be a little bit more patient. I'm not sure if that's what they're saying exactly, but Spirit is mentioning patience here to say you've probably been patient already. There's been a lot of battles. There's been a lot of learning as well, and this person is just simply acknowledging that, okay? Okay. And I think that, yeah, they're saying that you have learned a lot, that you've put in a lot of work. And they know this, and they know you know this, okay? Okay, but what is what is going on here, Spirit? What else do we need to know about the situation? And what does this person want to say to group two, please? Thank you. <clears throat> what do they want to say, please? I feel that there needs to be room for divine intervention. There needs to be a change. There needs to be a shift. And spirit is going to help to make that happen. So if you step aside, or either of you, I, I guess, step aside, there will be some divine support. Okay, support from divine is, is showing through here. And it's going to help you to rise higher in whatever it is that you're working on. Okay whatever it is that you're envisioning, because that Queen of Wands does look like a visionary. Okay, anything else? So, uh, person of interest of group two, what else do you have to say from the heart or from the mind? What do you want to tell group two? I feel like they do believe in you and your vision. I don't know how much they have actually said that out loud, but they do believe in the vision. They do see you as someone who is very powerful um, and able to produce results Again, I don't know if they've ever, I, I don't know if they've actually expressed this because they might on some days either say the opposite because this was sort of reverse a little bit or <clears throat> they might be pointing out that there's times where one of you actually discourages themselves, you know, like someone here might be saying um, words of not so encouragement, okay, so I, I'm not sure what's going on there, uh, but this person on a deeper level, they do believe in you, actually. They, they very much believe in you and your vision for the future. And they know that you can get this done. But what they're saying is there's a bit iffiness there. They're trying to say that you do need the particular energy and framework to make that happen. So it's kind of like a mixture here. It, it's almost like they are trying to encourage you, but at the same time, there might be um, a feeling of a lack of encouragement or even criticism for some of you. I don't know if that, that resonates. Uh, what else would you like to tell them, please? Group two's person of interest. What else would you like to tell them today? They said, um, like at first they were saying, you got this and we got this and we can make this happen. But again, there is this theme here that something is restricted or stuck or not seen in its full potential. The full potential or the full... Uh, I guess it would be perspective, yeah. The, the full potential is not being actualized here. So someone here is thinking too small or, um, again, not believing in themselves or just thinking of the worst things that could happen when in reality, whatever it is that is um, involved is very big and prosperous and can very much succeed. So I'm not sure what on earth this person is talking about, what's going on in your situation <clears throat> So obviously take this as it resonates to your actual situation. But so far you, you have Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. So there's something really big happening here. And however this person is involved, 
um, they're just trying to, you know, let out some of those thoughts at least to say they're open to things. I don't know the nature of you guys' connection. I'm very confused. Um, Spirit, can you tell us anything more? What does this person want to tell them? <clears throat> Anything, whoops, anything else that this person wants to tell them? What do they want to tell them? Okay, so we have Eight of Cups and the, oops, and the Four of Cups. Okay, so again, it's exactly the same thing that I saw before with that restriction. This time it's in the Four of Cups. You see the restriction, the withdrawing. This person is asking you to open that up and to move on from that, move on to the next chapter from that. Um, they have a very roundabout way of encouraging you. So I, I really, I mean, just base it off of their past, like how they have been thus far. Um, but whatever it is now on a, on a deeper level, cause that's what we're channeling. Cause I don't know if they actually say this, uh, but they are saying, Hey, it's time to move on. It's time to move on to the next chapter. Okay. Spirit, is there any other helpful messages in this situation, especially what they want to say, what they want to reveal? Okay, yet again, it's the same exact message. That's the third time in the row. Um, two of Swords, you see the blindfold. <clears throat> Pretty much the same right here. Being caught in the Swords' uh, stuckness. And you know, it's ironic because I feel like for some of you, this person is the one that has that stuck attitude, could be. And maybe this is their way of, again, in a roundabout fashion, trying to apologize for that. They're not saying sorry, I want to point out. I don't know if they did anything or were jerky towards you, but in some way they are saddened by this and they do wish to say, I wish I could be different, but they're not actually apologizing, which is, I would assume, frustrating for a lot of you, if that even resonates. Um, yeah, so someone here in the equation is being closed off, okay? And this person just wants that to open up and maybe they don't know how. Spirit, anything else? And I'll, I'll probably get some advice for you, too, because this seems like a bit of a interesting, maybe sticky situation. Anything else? Anything at all that Group 2's person of interest wants to tell them? Final messages? Um, I do feel <clears throat> that this person... Oh, look, you have the... Oh, I got the Justice card I pulled out, too, by mistake. Queen of uh, King of Wands uh, beneath that. But then I also saw this. So you got two scales. So, again imbalances or unfairness could be relevant here so this person says i do want to work with you i do wish to collaborate with you and work with you i do understand that that comes with some stress or some pains it could have been from the past i i just keep feeling back and forth energy from this person that although they do want to make things better i again i feel like they might not know how to make that happen so that's where the advice comes in so let's get that next um <clears throat> one final card from them whoop two so we have the queen of cups and then we have the star you are most likely going to need some divine help here group two okay we have the star card to say that the both of you need to be guided by your spirit team by divine to have more hope to have more faith within the situation and within yourselves the queen of cups i feel like this person is trying to tap into their own inner communication more, perhaps their emotions, and even their spirituality. So I think if you were to approach this person with the air of your own spirituality, whether that's talking about it, you know, in a spiritual manner, opening them up to spirituality, or opening up your heart space, this person will respond very well to that. <clears throat> so like before, just to incorporate some of your actual feelings and vibrations into the equation instead of let's say and this is going to depend obviously but um prior to this point i think that maybe the both of you were working a little bit too logically and spirit is saying soften that up a little bit show this person um you know who you are within your core um if it if it's relevant and if you're able to show a little bit more emotion and heart if, if you cannot do that, if this is something that's purely professional, then at least like, uh, again, soften your energy, open up your heart chakra to include this person and send them those those vibrations. It'll really help the situation. Can we have any final messages of advice for group number two, please, or anything about the situation spirit? <clears throat> so 
So we have um, the High Priestess and the Three of Wands. The final message I'm getting for you guys uh, is, like I said, that there are things that are happening behind the scenes here. You're going to progress in your situation, even if it does not appear that way. Stuff is meant to be happening behind the scenes, and there is a lot of stuff that's meant to be worked through, even if it's not obvious to you. So it could be this person's attitude, it could be you guys' progress together, it could be on your end, your energies, but something is happening behind the scenes that you will see progress in in the future. Okay, so group two, I think I'm going to leave it there because I, um, I'd love to hear what's going on here. Again, I don't think that this was a personal situation for most of you. I feel like it was just something more professional, business-like. I'm not really sure, um, but you can let me know below. I, I'd love to hear what's going on. Uh, so I think that's it for today. Um, this was a general reading. Personal reading info is always below if you want a personal reading with me. And I also have the pre-registration link below for if you're interested in uh, taking online courses of how to read tarot with me as well. Okay, thank you guys so much. Best wishes, good luck, and I will see you next time, okay? Take care, bye-bye. Hey guys, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number three, which is orange calcite. So again, just try to think of the person, um, the person of interest, whoever you have in mind, just uh, think of them before we begin, so it's a clearer reading, okay? Spirit, this reading is for group number three, orange calcite. And the messages from their person of interest. Please allow these messages to reach them only when they are meant to. Spirit, thank you. So I'm just going to take a look into the energy of the situation and then get their messages. Spirit, can you tell us about the energy of the situation, uh, whatever is going on here, just so that we can have an understanding? Spirit, for group number three, what is the energy of the situation overall? <clears throat> group three okay <clears throat> i think that someone here has been working very hard to communicate better and more clearly and to work on rebuilding things okay i don't know if this is resonating for the past or the present or like what happened here but it does look like someone here is working very hard on, um, you know, coming into some sort of clarity with oneself or with one another. Uh, is there anything else that we need to know for the situation itself, please? This is the card that I thought I saw before, and now here it is, Seven of Swords. And then we have the Page of Wands. It, it, it could be possible that somebody here was acting very immaturely at one point. Um, could be in the past, could be still in the present. Uh, and imm immaturely, but also really withholding a lot of truths, really withholding a lot of information. I don't know if this person was outright deceptive, could have been deceptive. Um, but I guess we'll see. But that that's what I think is going on here. Okay. Spirit, can you tell us now for uh, group three's person of interest, what is their first message? Okay, so group number three's person of interest, what is your first message for group three? What do you want to tell them? What do you want to tell them? Spirit, can you assist us? What do they want to tell them? <clears throat> okay, I can tell this is going to be an interesting reading. Um, I feel that this person still struggles with revealing. They're, they may still be very withdrawn. They struggle with revealing their feelings, with speaking their thoughts, with actually articulating what they're feeling and thinking. And they have a double whammy here because we have the two and the eight of swords. Both are in that stuck position and both have blindfolds, okay? So, oh boy, group three... I honestly can't really tell who's who here because sometimes readings like this, it can be vice versa. I'm going to assume that this is the other person though, just for now. Um, but this might resonate with how you feel as well. So yeah, someone here in the equation, very much still kind of blind to something maybe, 
or at least lacking some kind of a deeper spiritual insight with whatever's going on. Now that could mean that a person doesn't realize their feelings or the extent of a situation or, you know, whatever. But anyway, or, or the connection, because the next card makes sense to me. We have the Ten of Cups. So um, there is a Ten of Cups connection here, I feel. Or if it doesn't resonate that it's like a soul connection, this even could be talking about the future of someone's happiness, right? So this this is a possibility. This is the beautiful, um, <clears throat> pure energy. But at the same time, it's being locked right now. Blocked or locked or restricted right now. Spirit, can you tell us a little bit more? What does this person of interest for group three, what do they want to tell them? Can you assist us here with what this person wishes to tell them? They care about you a lot, even though I don't know if they would ever say that or if they have not said that or whatever's going on. Okay, but this person does care for you a lot if it's a uh boy i'm not even sure like i was gonna say that if it's a love situation i i would probably say this person loves you but again because of the the blockage here it's kind of hard to say but um one second sorry get interrupted for a moment there okay so let's get a couple more messages Spirit, what else can you tell us about the situation or this person, their energies towards group three and what they want to tell them, please? Uh, again, I'm not sure what they've actually said out loud to you, but this person does seem to view you as the queen of wands so they do see you as someone who's very vibrant someone who's very um like overall in their energy attractive in their energy um and if it if if this is appropriate like they do find you attractive as well so that might not resonate for everybody but um i'm just saying like attractive in your energy so yes like being able to um, attract positive energy, someone who's very charismatic and um, just really uh, alluring, I would say. They, they see this about you. They do admire this about you. Um, at, least, at least deep down, that's what they, they feel. <clears throat> These two cards coming together, three and five of pentacles, I felt that this person, it kind of just struck me. So I'm not, I'm not sure if if this is going to resonate for everyone but this person said without words that they okay they said they feel like they've screwed themselves over by not working together with you or by not collaborating with you working together working something out okay uh forgive my if that's bad language um but they they felt that they screwed themselves over okay <clears throat> and they i mean i i suppose that would also suggest that they regret you know what they did or or what happened here because they just feel that things were would have been much easier had they worked together with you in whatever way was possible or if they just had that conversation with you and you know um saw eye to eye or or something like that spirit what else does this person want to say spirit for group number three what else does this person wish to tell them can you assist us as well? We have the Three of Wands. I feel like maybe somebody here distanced themselves, but realistically, um, someone was guided to distance themselves. So whether this was you or them or whatever happened here, I feel that this was meant to happen. Distance was needed in order to gain perspective. So you know how sometimes we... Like, if something happens between us and another person, we usually think about it, like, was it something that I did? Was, you know, was it just because of this direct action, something in their life that was going on? The reality here is that this needed to happen, energetically speaking, and karmically as well. So, yeah, that, that's a big part of it. Spirit, what else? What does this person want to tell them? Group three's person of interest, what do you want to tell them? Thank you. Okay, so obviously they do wish to speak to you, but this was really reversed, okay? Ace of Swords. They they want to talk to you, but someone here feels like you've already talked enough and it's always the same thing over and over again. 
and it always ends the same way. There's like more stress piled on top. Maybe it just doesn't go in the way that the both of you envisioned. Queen of Cups is here. <clears throat> Queen of Cups usually seems like a person who is compassionate and patient and spiritual. In this case, I'm actually seeing someone kind of shunning someone, almost like they're turning their back and they're being a bit um, withdrawn and um, unstable within their emotions. So uh, lots of up and down energy. Lots of emotional imbalance in general. Spirit, anything else of what they actually want to say? What do they want to tell them? <clears throat> We have the Two of Wands and then we have the Six of Swords. Again, I see more distance here. I'm not sure what their point is, though. Because um, like they're, they're just sort of pointing out that there is distance between the both of you. Maybe they're trying to suggest that one of you has moved on or uh, it appears that someone has moved on. But obviously that's not the case here because there's a lot of energy still backing this reading. Spirit, what else do they want to tell them, please? I do feel that they have regrets. I do feel that they feel bad about something. Um, I think that in the past, or even now on some level, this person sees you as their equal or someone who they really resonate with. Um, this is going to really depend on what kind of um, <clears throat> situation or connection this is. Uh, but they... I mean, you're coming up as the king and queen of, of cups. So whether this is like a romantic thing, it's like an equal in that way, or it's a family thing, they see you as like a brother or sister or a part of themselves, you know, whatever the case is. But that that is how they see you. But again, I, I feel like, I, I don't know if they have told you that, but the five of cups here, it, it is showing that sad energy, like, you know, someone here doesn't really want to reveal that. Is there anything that... Um, spirit they want to reveal in terms of do they have any intentions or plans for the future or intentions towards group three anything like that so yeah they're taking their sweet time i think is what spirit said here with the uh seven of pentacles kind of just waiting or i don't know if they're making you wait or themselves I don't think that anything that they're doing here is necessarily on purpose. What I'm feeling here is this person is caught in a karmic wave. I'm feeling like they're just riding a wave and they don't really have a lot of power to do much of anything here. That is not excusing inaction or, you know, bad behavior. But what I am feeling is that this person, that they, they have a strong wheel of destiny and alignment at play here. And whether that means that like they they were just waiting around for a while or they weren't facing something um that was part of their divine path and they really couldn't do much about that that's yeah it's it's i mean some of you might be saying well yes they they could have done something but that would mean that they needed that they uh had that insight to do something and to fix something but remember they they lack that insight okay most likely they lack it. Someone here lacks insight um, and didn't take action is what they're saying, okay? And then we have the, oh my God, that's exactly the same thing. Um, these two cards came out together, the Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. There's there's a lot of waiting. There's a lot of sleeping dormancy. Okay. Um, and then this was at the bottom. I do feel like someone here really wants to do some deep inner healing uh, together and separately. Spirit, do we have any other helpful messages or advice or what this person wishes to tell them? <clears throat> anything else what they want to tell them okay ace of wands and the knight of pentacles this person does feel stuck so if they wanted to re if they wanted to revive any energies here if they wanted to resurrect something they were often met with this stuck energy this four of wands was definitely kind of reverse it's like they felt comfortable with you they felt um, right with you, uh, just present. I don't know what's going on here. I mean, like in the entire situation, obviously there's a history, <clears throat> so I don't know what's going on, but this person, it's, it's just, they they seem to be in an energy of imbalance now. Um, 
I would assume that eventually that can change. I mean, I, I actually don't know. I would have to do a whole reading on that one. But for now, this person is really blocked up in something. And they're trying to move forward and it just gets stuck over and over again. Spirit, is there anything that we can know about the future of this connection? Just in general, any helpful messages or advice about the future of this connection? Well, that's... Uh, so we have the hanged man. Um, obviously, I have two other... What was what was going on with that flash? Did you see that? That was weird. I think my light dimmed. Um, the hanged man is just hanging around, right? And there is a pause. There is limbo. But it's also a card of perspective. I do feel that potentially someone here can gain perspective. And with one person gaining perspective, it's likely that the other will follow if you are mirroring each other, which is what I'm seeing is happening. Okay. We have the Knight of Swords. <clears throat> And we have the Page of Wands. Now, I do see potential. I do see potential for things improving in general. Obviously, this is going to uh, depend on what you want for the situation. Because even though you're looking at messages from this person, whoever they might be, you might not necessarily want some kind of relationship with them or, or like connection with them. Maybe you don't. Um, it does show potential for that if that's what you want. However, I feel like there's still this impulsive, childish energy or childlike energy that's going on in the future. So please be cautious. Do you have any other messages, advice, or uh, predictions, spirit, about this connection? So it's just the same thing. Um, interestingly, we got another page here. I'm going to get to that in a second. But this was at the bottom. So this is really iffy. This is 50-50. Some of you, this might progress. And others of you, this might not. This is, again, depending on what you wish to happen, what your intentions are. Um, I'll put it simply. Um, if you feel that you're caught or that you are caught in a pattern with this person or they are caught in a pattern and you're seeing with evidence that there is no change, then obviously, you know, you, you may want to put up your boundaries and just keep it moving sort of a thing. Um, but if you do see that there's potential, if you if your heart is open to this um, and you are seeing progress, then I would say that spirit is asking you to just, you know, keep working towards things. But I thought that this was interesting because we already got the page of wands and now you have the page of cups. Again, it feels like this childlike energy, but you'll notice that the both of you are opposite, fire and water. That can cause a lot of problems. I'm not saying in your zodiacs exactly, but this is showing that you guys have this internal clash that's just natural to who you are. So that could take some time to balance out, as I saw with this upside down, six of pentacles. Um, but we do have the queen of swords. So the final conclusion here is that someone wants to talk. Uh, but whether or not you do, or whatever you talk about, especially about the future, is entirely up to you. Okay? Alrighty. Um, so group number three, this was really interesting. Feel free to let me know what's going on so I have an idea. Uh, but that's what I'm seeing for you guys. I think that's all for today. Um, so it was a general reading. If you want a personal reading with me, info is always below. And like I said, I did... Uh, put the pre-registration link if you're interested to have online tarot courses with me. I've never done it before. I just figured I'd get interest. Okay, so thank you guys so much. Sending you blessings, and I will see you next time, okay? Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, guys, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number four, which is Pyrite. All right, so Spirit, this reading is for group four. Messages from their person of interest. Please have them in mind uh, before we start. Spirit, please allow these messages to reach them only when they are meant to. Thank you. Spirit, can you let us know just the energy overall of what's going on here, just so that I have an understanding? Spirit, what is going on? What's going on here with group number four, the person of interest, overall energy of the situation? anything oh my you have the wheel of fortune it not to sound cheesy but that i was going to say quite a fortunate card it actually is fortunate okay so we have wheel of fortune and we have justice okay um already even though there's only two here these are two powerful major arcana cards what i'm feeling with you guys um with this person 
is that there is a big deal here of karma or karmic energies and cycles and destined energies at play here. Something is meant to come to balance. Something is meant to, you know, to balance out, especially if there was unfairness in the past. So something is um, in the works trying to become fair, trying to become balanced here. So what this uh, so what this then means is that you and this person had some kind of a, a strong, strong connection that you were meant to meet each other, whether this was, you know, whatever kind of connection this was, it could be any kind of connection. Um, you were meant to meet one another to learn a powerful soul lesson and to have <clears throat> some kind of some kind of um, soul contribution here. It, and it works both ways. You were meant to affect their life. They were meant to affect your life. Um, there's been a lot of spirit guidance uh, surrounding this connection you've probably gotten a lot of signs and synchronicities messages same thing goes for them even if they never said it okay that was a lot very powerful now let's get the messages from them spirit can you let us know for group four's person of interest what they want to tell group four spirit for group number four what does this person want to tell them group group four's person of interest what would you like to tell them please I write what would you like to tell them? Okay, you got the same card again. Justice is here again. But the other card? <sighs> Not sure what to make of this. Um, I mean, it looks obvious with the Ten of Cups. Uh, but it's hard to say what this person is saying. Um, I think it really, really depends on what happened here. Ten of Cups means that there will be some kind of of positive outcome here a happy ending a beautiful loving result you know whatever the case was um there will be fairness there will be uh love or care or um brightness okay in some way and I, i'm just not sure how they're trying to phrase this but th this is what they're trying to tell you is on their mind okay sorry for the motorcycle outside um <clears throat> All right, Spirit, can you give us some assistance here? What does this person want to tell them? Spirit, for group number four, group number four, what do they wish to tell them? Yeah, they, they, um... They really love you. I'm just going to say it. They really love you. I don't know in what way exactly, obviously, uh, but they really love you. Uh, there was this brightness, this warmth, this love that just washed over me. And it was very, it was very powerful, very emotional. Um, probably they have not always seen that. Maybe. This person may then have a problem with self-love, perhaps. Or someone here in the equation has, uh, I think, a problem with accepting love self-love the judgment card was very obviously upside down this person or someone here might have been ignoring signs from divine because you can see the angel in the sky trying to help but it was upside down um this person might have even been misinterpreting signs from divine i don't know if that's you or them but yeah someone here has been really i think not paying attention to something and then here's a page of swords to say again we have messages we have lots and lots and lots of synchronicities uh, okay, so let's get a little more personal here because this is what it is. Um, group force person of interest, what else do you want to tell them? What is your message for them, please? They felt like a family. Um, they, they felt a family within you, like you guys were family, however that means. Uh, maybe you are family, actually, but like they felt prosperous. They felt safe, secure, belong, uh, a sense of belonging. We have the six of cups. Again, they care for you very deeply. I really don't know the extent to that they show this. As I said that, as they as I said that, the Seven of Swords. I said I don't know the extent they show it. They probably don't show it. Um, the Seven of Swords is withholding something, hiding something. Okay, so either they're hiding their feelings, their emotions, or spirit. Is there anything else that has been hidden here? <clears throat>
Yeah, it could have just been any kind of like fairness within the situation. Something is not right here or was not right here. We have the three of wands. So this just could have been um, this person's distance, you know, like emotional distance. Uh, some of you that could have even been a physical distance to environmental dis uh, distance here where not everything was obvious in this situation. You might not have understood why certain things had to happen, but spirit had to take all of that away at a certain point because of the karmic cycle and the alignment here. Something had to be hidden from you and them and the person um, because there had to be a lot happening behind the scenes. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've been told that there was a, a, a higher purpose, like a karmic reason for certain things happening, especially when it, when it came to, um, a disconnection, right? So like this, it just, it had to happen. I, I don't know if you're even separated from this person. If you are, it, it happened for this reason that everything had to align. Um, <clears throat> if you're not separated from this person, Whatever's going on for you right now, it's, it's happening for this reason, okay? Spirit, what else do they need to know? What does their person of interest want to tell them? <clears throat> so they are burdened by something, okay? They are burdened, they are heavy, they might even be going through some financial difficulty, or they might feel a bit crushed within their dreams or hopes, and so it's really weighing down on them. They probably don't see too far ahead because they don't have that sense of optimism, maybe. Spirit, what else do they want to tell them? Group four's person of interest. Yeah, and for that reason, uh, more in addition to the other reasons, they have blocked themselves in. You know, they have withdrawn into themselves. They might be in a pessimistic energy right now. I don't know if this is something they've been in for a very long time, but um, yeah, they, they're kind of caught in this energy. Spirit, what else do we need to know? And what else do they want to tell them? Yeah, just, just lots of burnout, fighting, battles, exhaustion. Someone here is really beat up. Could be both of you. <sighs> hmm. Anything else? They said it again, they do really, really care for you and love you, but I, I do admit that they have a, a strange way of showing it. Um, they could be just very much withdrawn into themselves, and this could be your energy too, just kind of really keeping to yourself, because the there's something really interesting about the history of this connection. I definitely feel like you guys have had past life experiences together, and I think that in each lifetime, and in, in multiple occasions in this lifetime, I feel that there has has been a lot of confusion. Could be confusion with what you guys are to each other, your roles, your spiritual path in general, your life circumstances. I, I'm just not getting a clear message. I'm starting to get a headache on my left temple, which I thought was interesting. Um, I don't know if there's just like a block to seeing what this connection really is. So... Now that you guys have the confirmation, because you probably knew that already, that this is a powerful soul connection extending from previous lifetimes, um, that nothing is as it seems with this connection. Whatever is going on in your three-dimensional worlds, both of you, it's all, in a sense, an illusion. It's throwing up obstacles, right? that were meant to challenge the both of you so that you could learn the soul lessons and even kind of complete, you know, like the soul contract, whatever that was, like the agreement that you guys had uh, with your souls. All of this stuff was meant to get you to a particular point of balance. Now, I don't know what that means for the future of the connection, but whatever the case is, it's true for all of you that you were meant to get to a point of balance um, with this situation, okay? Spirit, is there any other final messages that we need to know? What else do they want to tell them? Do they have any intentions for the future towards group four? Anything at all? <clears throat> Spirit message from them about their intentions for the future towards group four. Anything like that? So 
you have the Wheel of Fortune again, okay? So whether or not they have intentions, it doesn't matter because their guides will push them to do things that they need to do. Even if it takes the guides a very long time, they're going to be persistent. That's just what happens. I think that, I mean, I've, I've seen it myself. I don't know if you guys have experienced where your guides over and over again are showing you something. It, it's kind of like eventually we have to listen. We have to give in. And if we don't, we do, you know, we, we suffer the consequences. Not It's not always a horrible thing, but we do notice the consequences, right? Okay, the other card that popped out, we have the Six of Wands. This is really nice. I do feel like there will be success for you in the future, whether that means it's with this person or not. It depends on what you want in your life. Um, but you will enjoy this success, okay? This is victory. You're going to have that balance. You're going to have that um, love, whether it's self-love, unconditional love, or outer love with somebody else, whatever the case is. Um, Spirit is going to reward you with some kind of victory in the near future, okay? And however you want that to look, honestly, I feel like is going to happen however you're manifesting it, okay? So I wouldn't really worry too much about the future with just this person Th this is an overall success that uh, or victory that you're going to receive from the divine so again this is up to you to manifest do you want reconciliation if that's what happened here do you want closeness do you want separation you know just really try to think of what is best for you spirit is asking you to be honest with yourself about what's best for you can we have any final messages from this person to group four <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, there's very much potential here for celebration, for even coming together, for prosperity, for new beginnings, something really joyous and fortunate. Okay, so they use that word fortunate many times in your reading. So I do think that you're going to have a, a, a great outcome here and however you're manifesting it, as I said, and just keep going, you know, just really, really closely follow your intuition. Um, that means that you probably won't be able to plan much. You know, you can set intentions, that's true, but at the end of everything, Spirit is asking you to just simply follow your intuition because that is the strongest navigator for you. The strongest compass within you is to follow your own inner power, okay? Your own inner psychic ability too, like everything. So yeah, um, that's what I'm seeing. Uh, so group four, uh, that's what I have for you. This was very interesting. Let me know if you feel called what's going on because I'd like to know more detail. And what happened here uh but yeah that's that's what i have for you for today this was general if you'd like a personal reading with me info is below and i did add again the pre-registration link um just in case any of you out there are interested to take uh online how to tarot courses with me okay so thank you so much sending you blessings and i will see you next time okay take care bye bye